Melty Blood type Lumina has some situational modifiers that can affect the hit stun damage scaling of combos. Some of these, like Shield Fatal Counter against shielding opponents, are known, while some of the negative ones are less understood. Before getting onto the main point of this video, I want to clarify some details on a fairly well-known mechanic. A lot of people will talk about instant air dash dodges or instant air dash proration. It is true that an instant air dash will yield the worst combo, making certain confirms impossible when compared to doing a neutral or forward jump aerial instead. Rather than instant air dash causing reduced hit stun, a normal performed out of a forward air dash, no matter when the air you do it, will yield the worst combo. This can be done as a delayed air dash or even an air dash after a double jump. Additionally, taking a non-air dash action after an air dash, such as an air dash followed by a double jump, will not trigger this special scaling. A backwards air dash, instant or not instant, will not trigger any special scaling either. With forward air dash scaling understood, we can look at another special type of combo scaling that takes place, even taking priority over the forward air dash scaling. I'm going to show a few examples. As a baseline, we will be looking at a simple corner combo done from a non-air dash jump C starter. This combo does slightly over 4,300 damage. This is an important number to remember. Also, note the place where the combo drops when attempted from a forward air dash jump C. Attempting the combo from a double overhead with jump A followed by jump C, this is what happens. The combo drops, however, it happens at a later point than when done from a forward air dash. Doing two aerials has extra scaling, which is not surprising. If the jump A is blocked and the jump C connects, the combo works. However, you'll notice that it did slightly under 4,100 damage. That's nearly 300 missing damage. When a double overhead mixes up the opponent, there is scaling applied to the damage only, but not to the hit stun. What if we layer the double overhead with the forward air dash? Not an uncommon situation when trying to open up an opponent. From an air dash, if only the second overhead lands, this happens. An identical situation with the forward jump double overhead. The second attack does not count as being done from an air dash, but does count as being hand slid to from a previous attack. If both attacks connect, the combo drops in the same place it did from just a regular air dash. The second normal has no negative effect on the hit stun in this situation. <laughs> When trying to open up an opponent with multiple overheads and air dashing, by recognizing which move they got hit by, you can react and pick better combos in order to do more damage and have better meter gain. 